Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, this is Temporal Enigma, and uh, I'm doing something I haven't done in a while. Um, as a favor to a friend, although he didn't ask me to, I just felt like doing it. Um, and this is doing a channel promotion thing. Yeah, whatever that's called. Um, basically, I'm letting you know about another channel on YouTube who my friends, or part of my friends, some of my friends, happen to be a part of or collaborate with, um, and they are the Online Knights. Uh, you may or may not have heard of them before. They just recently passed 10,000 subscribers. Yay! And they've been on our Our Friends Check Them Out uh, page on the side of our channel page for a little while now, so... Yay, that's great. The Online Knights consists of many members, most of them behind the scenes, um, and the main two are Robius5991 and H2Agon, who are both my Xbox friends, you know, people I don't know in real life, but I know and communicate with a lot, and um, they do a lot of stuff. Um, I know Robius has some uh, a series that he calls, uh, I think he calls it Assassin's Creed Real History, where he takes uh, the historical aspects behind Assassin's Creed, such as characters and events, and tells the real history behind them and compares them with the game and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of people find that interesting. Uh, I'm not a history person, so I don't, but they are very well done, nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> uh, they are most well known for their Halo map reviews. Um, that's what really got them big. Now, unfortunately, they're not doing any more Master Chief Collection uh, maps, at least for now. I don't know if they're going to pick it up again at all or what. I don't know. Just so don't hold me to that. But, um, and they made a video explaining why. Uh, it's titled Channel Update. It's got Sad Master Chief on it. <laughs> but, um, you know, and they have their own reasons for all that. But, um... You know, playing in the background right now is uh, their most recent one, and the last one, I guess. For now, at least until Halo 5 comes along and makes us all happy again. So, um, I encourage you guys to go watch, uh, go check them out and watch their videos and stuff. A link to their channels in the description, as well as a link to this video in the background. Um, I'm going to leave you with a minute or so of the video in the back. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, go check them out, please, because they deserve, you know, even if it's just 180 subscribers like we have, if 100 more people go over, well, then that's 100 and 10,000 and 100 subscribers that they have or so. So uh, thanks for all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I've really enjoyed seeing this map progress through many versions as Mnemonic has worked hard to adapt his Halo 4 original to the Master Chief Collection, making it both a fun map to play with your friends while also boasting some nice aesthetics on top of the standard competitive forging style. Oh, and before I forget, here is the Rocket Spawn. And here is the Sentinel Beam Spawn, as I had not explicitly shown either of these earlier. Here is an overview of the map, so you can see its varied layout, as it offers multiple levels of elevation and many curved hallways that encourage grenade bouncing. Lastly, before I forget, here is the statue that serves as the centerpiece of the map, acting both as a fun and silly aesthetic structure while also playing the important role of a line of sight blocker. Please keep in mind that you can shoot through its legs. In fact, I'd like to know that I've actually been sniped through there before, which makes for another unexpected fun element to this map. Either way, I still love how whenever somebody new sees the map, the first thing they usually say is, hey, nice statue.